Hi, this video was made by Salman Hosseini and narrated by Nilufar Eskandari from Hyper Lyceum team. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how to mesh and partition complex geometries in Abacus. Meshing has a direct impact on the accuracy of simulation solutions. Accurate simulation requires correct meshing. First, I want to create an abutment model like this. After that, I want to mesh it with a structure technique. But because of complex geometry, I cannot do it. So I will create a datum plane and partition it. Then I create another partition and after that I have this model and I can mesh it with a structure technique. Well, here we have three different types of elements. A linear hex element, a quadratic hex element, and a quadratic tetrahedral element. There are differences between hexahedral and tetrahedral elements. For example, tetrahedral elements fit better with complex geometries. And in the same geometry, fewer hex elements are needed. And finally, both elements have the appropriate accuracy and are almost the same. At the end of this video, I will introduce a way to measure the quality of elements. Now I want to go to Abacus to create an abutment model. 3D model, deformable, shape is solid, and type is revolution. Now we are putting the points arbitrary and after that we will fix the size of each line. This length is 1.5. This dimension is 3.5. 0 0.7 2 millimeter and the last one is 15.5. Now I want to create a circle like this. The radius is 2 millimeter. To put more constraints, I set the value of 0 0.7 millimeters here. We connect these two lines and we rotate it for 360 degree. Now we finished our part and in this study we are focusing on mesh module. So we're going to skip the other modules such as interaction, load and boundary condition and we go directly to mesh module. Here we can see our model is orange so we can't use hexadral mesh type. For this model, we can only use tetrahedral mesh. With tetrahedral mesh, we can mesh it, but in this tutorial, we're going to use hexadral mesh. Okay, now I want to create a plane XY YZ Okay, now I want to use this tool. I select partition cell, use datum plane. Now I want to use it. Okay. All right. We are selecting this point, this point, and this point to make this partition. Partition cell, define cutting plane. I want to do the same thing here. 
We should do the same for this area. This is the part as being partitioned. We are doing the partitioning because it is necessary to have fine element size. Okay, I chose these four pieces. Now, we can use partition cell Extrude Sweep Edges. And select this edge, this edge, and this edge. Okay, now we chose Extrude Along Direction. We can select direction on an axis. I want to select this line. You know that this direction is wrong for our model, so we can change it. Create a partition? Yes. When the part is green, it means that the number of elements will be the same for all edges. I will explain it in the next video. Okay, select. I choose seat size 0 0.2 and mesh it. Now you see that the element size is okay. Well, now I want to go and check the quality of elements with the aspect ratio tool. For this purpose, the aspect ratio number must be lower than 10. There are four elements with low quality, which their number of aspect ratio is larger than 10. I will solve this problem by using the useful mesh editing tool. Select drag from method. We are selecting this point to drag it. We are selecting this point to make this refine. Well, now the reforms have been made. The elements are modified. It means that the aspect ratio is lower than 10. As you can see, the elements are very fine and we can use it for complex geometries. There are many things about meshing and geometry correction that I want to tell you in the next videos. As you can see, in addition to partitioning techniques that help improve mesh, using tools like Edit Mesh can significantly help improve mesh quality. Well, in this video, meshing was done based on the structure method. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and Facebook page. This video was made by Salman Hosseini. To find his contact information and his updated resume, please visit our website, hyperlyceum.com. Salman is an expert in Abacus, 3Matics, Mimics, SolidWorks, Ketia, and a few other engineering software. To plan online sessions and discuss industrial and academic projects, please use the provided email under Salman's contacts. The cost of the projects vary depending on the complexity of the work and can be discussed in advance. We look forward to working with you.